Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting a little series and this series is Caravanning for Beginners and the first episode is going to be about the toilet. So if you're new to caravanning, this might be a question that you've probably asked but been afraid to ask. So we're gonna show you how the toilet works and how you can maintain it. Now, if you are a regular viewer and you're an experienced caravanner, I also would like your help too, because the way I might do it might be completely different to yours and you might have some experience in other ways that might help out our new caravanners. So I would welcome comments. So let's uh, have a look at it. So as we said at the beginning of the video, we're going to be discussing the chemical cassette toilet in the caravan. Now there are two types, if you've got a previous uh, older model, you're going to have the hand pump vacuum system, or if you've got a modern caravan, you're going to have an electric flush. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you round hours and show you the basics of how to use it because some people never ask in the dealers when they buy a caravan how to use it properly so we're going to do that. We're also going to discuss uh, chemicals for the toilet and we're also going to uh, show you how to remove the cassette uh, from out of the caravan correctly. So this is our Fetford electric flush toilet. Now the great thing about these is you can use them whether you're on 12 volts or mains. Now this particular toilet has a adjustable seat so the whole bowl will twist so it will allow you to move into positions which makes it more comfortable for the user. The seat is in two parts, you have the main cover and then you have the seat. Both can be removed in order to clean it properly. Now the bowl itself is designed in such a way that the nozzle that squirts the water flushes round the bowl and into the trap. And the trap itself is operated at the front of the bowl and it's a simple lever mechanism, like so. On the top of the flush tank there is a control panel and you press the blue button to flush. Now you have to hold the button down to do a continuous flush. Also on the control panel you'll find that if a red light comes up it will be informing you that your cassette is full. If you have the hand pump version, you lift the handle up and you pump the handle up and down to create the vacuum which flushes the toilet. So let's talk firstly about the actual cassette chemicals. Now we in particular use this one which is green and we've been using the green since we purchased the caravan not had any issues with it. It does what it says it does, it breaks down the waste and it doesn't leave an unpleasant smell. Now the blue is quite a stronger chemical and some caravan sites now will not accept you using blue because they have ecosystems with inside the septic tanks and the blue can cause issues with that. Now there is a third on the market which is the Elson uh, Organic. Now that is recommended by a lot of companies uh, that provide caravan parks. What I like about that is you can actually use it inside the flush tank and also in the cassette. So let's move on to the chemicals and additives you can use for your flush tank. Now some people prefer to just use plain water, uh, they don't use additives at all, but we prefer to use the pink. We've used the pink since we started with the caravan and we've not really had any issues with it. Now, as I said before, the Elson Organic, you can use that in the flush tank as well. And there are a blue for this as well. Now, now what you need to remember is you've got to empty the tank every time you've finished using your caravan and you're getting ready to go back onto the road. You don't want to leave it full of water. One, it adds weight to it and it can damage the system as well. So always remember to empty the tank and also empty your cassette. So setting up the water system ready for use when you're on site is very simple really. What you do first of all is you have your water tank here. So this is the filler, so you undo this, and as you can see, it's got a filler section. Now this particular tank holds 15 litres of water, 
So we're gonna need a few bucketfuls to, in order to fill it up. With the aqua rinse, it's recommended that you use 100 millilitres for every time you refill this, which is what I do. So we've now put that in. I never put it in the watering can because I might want to use the watering can for something else and it will uh, contaminate the watering can. So best to do it as two separate uh, tasks. So now that we've filled the cistern tank up, what we're going to do now is remove the cassette. Now there's a way of removing the cassette. So let's just undo the locks. Now with this particular uh, cassette hatch, it drops down, some open sideways. So uh, let's just drop that. Now, as you can see, we've got an orange handle here. Now what I tend to do is I place my hand up here, I lift up the handle and I pull towards me. Now bearing in mind, if this is full, it's gonna be quite heavy. Now just behind here, there is a handle. I'll just show you now, there. So you can take hold of the handle and you can lift it out like that. Now before you do this, always make sure that the, uh, the trap is uh, closed on your toilet. So now it's the time to actually put the chemicals inside the cassette. Now what I tend to do is I remove the cap from the empty in spout, open up the trap door in here and pull back the drawer. Now again, this one recommends that you use 100 millilitres of fluid. I tend to pour it into here and then I pour it in there like so. Closing it up, lid on, screw back the cap and it's ready to go. And then we can insert it back into the uh, actual hatch. Now to drain the system after you finish your holiday, what I do is I remove the cassette and then just up here on my particular model, there is a drain tube, which is here, as you can see and it has a rubber stopper on it. Now what I tend to do is, generally there's usually a bit left over, so what I like to do is take a container, any container as long as it's large enough, and I pull the stopper out, and run the water into it. Now it will have chemicals in this, now you can either throw it away by pouring it down the Aslan, or you can store it for yourself and you can use it another day. If you have an older caravan, there may be a different system up here. It may be just a bung with a hole. In that case, I would recommend you get a funnel or you get yourself a piece of tubing that might fit in it once you can, so you can drain it off yourself. But on uh, most modern caravans, this is what you will find inside the cassette housing. So simply put the bung back in, lift it up there, and that's it, it's done. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I hope to see you soon, but in the meantime, bye for now.